I'm Dr. Ed Weisbart. I am a, I've been practicing family medicine for 33 years, since 1982. I retired in 2010, and now I volunteer my services as a physician for free. I'm here today because I'm sick and tired of filling out death certificates like these before their time. Because our state has not yet expanded Medicaid 700 times a year, there's a doctor like me and some of these others who has to fill out another death certificate about another patient who died too soon. That's 700 preventable deaths every year. Each one of these 700 people has a spouse, a parent, friends, neighbors. They live next to us in our big cities, our suburbs, our small towns, and our rural areas. They wait on us at the restaurant. They provide our children with daycare. They build our homes and our businesses. They ring us up at the cash register. That's 700 people dying early every year. Think about it. That's two more people each and every day. That's somebody's loved one every 12 hours. Today, tomorrow, on your birthday, and even on the holidays, death is working overtime right here in Missouri. These people are going to die early because legislators here are more interested in politics than in human life. You may be wondering, how is it that someone could actually die because of politics? Well, let me tell you how. I see it all the time. Last week, six days ago in clinic, I saw a diabetic construction worker who was about to go on dialysis after 10 years of being unable to afford his insulin. We're going to start paying $70,000 this year for his dialysis, but we refused to expand Medicaid and pay just $30 a month for his insulin. He's going to have to leave the workforce soon and join the ranks of the disabled. Because of our legislators, legislature's decision to not expand Medicaid, I find myself unable to prevent his full disability and premature death. I volunteer my time, education, and 33 years of experience, but still make almost no difference. What's the point of handing him another prescription for another bottle of insulin that he simply can't afford? I am sick and tired of watching untreated diabetes destroy someone's kidneys. I'm sick and tired of seeing strokes from untreated high blood pressure. I'm sick and tired of watching asthmatics gasping for air, unable to say more than two or three words at a time because they can't afford their inhalers. Imagine watching someone you love gasping for air like that. It's horrible and it kills and it doesn't have to. And then, since we're here, imagine that our elected legislature has chosen to allow this to happen. I am sick and tired of a political system that stops doctors like me and the rest of us from saving patients like that. What do you call someone who decides to let his neighbors die? What do you call them? What do you call a legislature that will turn its back on hardworking Missouri families? What do you call a legislature that argues about whether Missouri can afford to save 700 lives a year? Some people say we can't afford to save these lives. I say to hell with that. Yes, we can. Hey. 700 people are paying with their lives already. Some people say nobody actually dies from this, and I say, you don't know what you're talking about. We're here today to deliver these 700 death certificates to those heartless state legislators on the wrong side of history. Please, legislators, file these for us. We're sick and tired of it, and you're apparently not. Let's not sugarcoat this. Some people may call it politics. I call it murder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.